Lazio, founded in 1900, have won Serie A twice, in 1974 and 2000, under Sven Goran Eriksson. Sergio Cragnotti, who took over the club in 1992, invested heavily and brought a stellar group of players to Lazio. This included Paul Gascoigne, a move that helped Serie A's increasing popularity in England. This interest was also boosted by the honeyed tones of James Richardson on Channel 4's Football Italia, created in part because of Gazza's move. Aside from a cup win in 2012-13, Lazio have not yet again hit the heights of 2000, in part because of match-fixing allegations and financial troubles that forced the sale of their best players in the mid-2000s. But current manager Simone Inzaghi has an exciting crop of players, and while Lazio are out of the Serie A hunt, the Champions League looks like a real possibility. Star striker Ciro Immobile is on course to be the first Capa Canoniere, the title given to Serie A's top scorer, in Lazio colours since Hernan Crespo in the season 2000-2001. Lazio have played largely as a 3-5-1-1 this season, although they also use a 3-4-2-1. They have a fairly settled first team, with Immobile playing ahead of Spanish schemer Luis Alberto, a midfield three anchored by former player Lucas Leva with Marco Parolo and the young Serbian Sergei Milinkovic Savic flanking him, with width coming from Senad Lulic on the left and Adam Rusic on the right. Defensively, Lazio tend to press only when the opposition enter their half, though they will push higher if the opposition have a sustained passage of play between their defenders. Generally, the wide players fall back into a back five, while the midfield arrange themselves as a sort of rhombus that flexes across so that Lever is deeper and the two flanking midfielders cover the half and even wide spaces. Luis Alberto assists in the press, but is always looking to find space away from his defensive duties as he or Milinkovic Savic are the outballs when Lazio win back possession. Immobile has limited defensive responsibility, in part because he works so hard as a frontman when Lazio are in possession, and in part because he too needs to find pockets of space from which to attack if Lazio regain the ball. Lazio attack a lot through the wide left and left half spaces. Milinkovic Savic, who is one of this season's outstanding young prospects anywhere in Europe, creates a great deal of Lazio's moves forward through his link-up play with the left wing-back or wide midfielder Senad Lulic. Lulic provides a strong threat overlapping out wide, and Milinkovic Savic will often take the ball short from Leva or a more direct pass from the back line before playing short interchanges with Lulic. Luis Alberto drifts into the space between the lines to give the Serbian an inside ball as well. Lazio's ideal attacking scenario is to have one of the wing-backs running with the ball out wide, while the opposite wing-back runs towards the edge of the box. Two players await the cross, and a further player loiters deeper for any knockdowns or half clearances. You can see this pattern repeated time and again when Lazio can commit sufficient men to any break or are attacking from their own half. Milinkovic Savic's ability in the air and from long shots is important here, as he can join Immobile in the box and threaten, or sit back and then shoot from range, as he did beautifully against Sassuolo this season. Meanwhile, Leva and Parolo provide a solidity in the midfield. Parolo moving to cover spaces left by the attack, and Leva anchoring in front of the back three. Lazio concede quite a lot, but they score even more. As of week 27, Lazio are Serie A's leading goalscorers, but have conceded more goals than every other team down to 11th place Udinese. Sampdoria have also conceded 34 in 6th. In fact, Lazio have currently conceded as many goals in the league as Napoli and Juventus combined. Nonetheless, Lazio's attacking pedigree, their exciting, counter-attacking style, and the form of Immobile and Milinkovic Savic could propel the Rome side back to Europe's top table. Simone Inzaghi, young for an Italian manager and a popular former Lazio player, has crafted a vibrant team who are fun to watch and performing above expectations in Serie A this season. For more information on Lazio, their news, stats and their season so far, have a look in the description and click to download the OneFootball app. Thanks for watching.